So, hello, thank you for being here. So, I'm Nishe, I'm Kit Nawel, I'm going to talk about some interpreter optimizations. So, first, a bit of context. Okay, wait. Okay. Uh, so, we're working on the Power VM, and we have a VM generator that is called Slang. Our VM is built in a very special way. So, with, our VM is completely written in Faro. So, the Faro VM is written in Faro. Uh, with our interpreter, you see the G compiler, they are written entirely in Faro. And eventually, they are transpired to C code. And that is the production VM that we have. So, this architecture helps us actually to simulate the virtual machine, execute it as normal Faro code. And then, for example, we can simulate the chip, the native code cache, and then, thanks to some machine code uh, simulators like Unicorn, we can simulate the chip compiler code and the chip compiler code. So with that, to go a bit faster when the we have a bit of the testing infrastructure there also, but that is not interesting today. What we are going to care about today is about Slang. As Slang is here, it is the thing that will transpile the power virtual machine to SQL. So, and in particular, we're going to uh, focus on interpreter. Yeah, so this is what we care about today. Uh, so, how does it work? It's actually it's a normal compiler. So, it will take the far source code, it will get the intermediate representation and NSP, and then it will generate C code behind. Uh, it does a couple of uh, specific interpreter optimizations. So, it will do aggressive inlining into the interpreter loop and stuff like that. Uh, so this is just to give uh, a bit of more of the context. Now, how does it look like at the end? So we have the interpreter loop looks like this. So it's a normal method. It's a small method actually that does the way through with a normal dispatch on a dispatch table, and then then it would, for each instruction it will dispatch on a bytecode method. Yeah. So it's a stack based VM. One byte will be eventually executed, uh, implemented as one method, and then it will be transformed as a token thread interpreter within line in Amazon. So, what will, so if we take a look a bit at uh, the code, so we see, for example, here the second method that I show is a byte. So, the byte are actually really small, they're implemented uh, as really small methods. Then we have some helper methods, like for example, this push boolean and this internal about return. So this, for example, the first one and the second one, the push pool, is to push booleans to the, to the stack. And the last one is to return to help, uh, it's a helper to return to the color context. So now when we look at this, one of the things that actually uh, we can see is that there is, for example, in this case, two ways to access the stack, yeah? So we have the local stack pointer. So we have something that is calling an internal push, and we have a push. Yes, an internal push is talking to it's manipulating a variable that is called the local stack pointer, and the uh, push is manipulating a variable that is that is the stack pointer. So what what is happening here? This is how it was working before this paper, the virtual machine. It was written this way, and the thing is that this is written this way because the uh, one of these two variables is meant to be in line in the interpreter loop, and the other one is not. And then to know which of them should be used by the VM developer, the developer should know the C generation of semantics. So, how this is going to be compiled into C. If you don't do that, subtle bars and really ugly bars come up. So, we had a couple of questions regarding this. So, but first, so we identify that actually this happening in, in a couple of places in our interpreter. So this happens with critical variables. So things that seemingly are critical for performance, the, the instruction pointer, the frame pointer, the stack pointer. So they should be, or that's that's an intuition, they should be uh, critical for interpreter performance. Uh, and this thing actually pushes a lot of uh, burden to the developer because they are duplicated and they need to be synchronized. So one, the, the value between the one and the other should be copied around. So why that? Because the local version should be accessible to interpreter loop. And apparently, so it was meant to be optimized at registers. So we put directly in registers. Why the global version? 
was meant to be accessible to the rest of the runtime. For example, if the garbage collector wants to walk the stack to uh, mark and sweep objects in the stack, uh, so we needed the, that local variable, or that, those values, they need to be uh, accessible also to the rest of the runtime. So they need to be synchronized. Now, we started looking at this piece of code and we started asking ourselves a couple of questions. So we have these interpreter registers that have a, a very frequent usage and we had this intuition, okay, they should be important for performance and they need to be globally accessible. Okay, so we have this kind of, uh, these two requirements, so this kind of um, explain why the design was like that, but it was kind of error prone and we couldn't, we were not able to systematically validate our intuition because it was handwritten. So if we wanted, for example, to disable the optimization, we had to rewrite the entire virtual machine. Yeah. So we started working on an automatic optimization that this the, the, the was going to do this automatically for us. Uh, that is called automatic localization. Yeah. Um, uh, Okay, the, the point we uh, this automatic localization is to uh, perform the, of the optimization uh, during the transformation of this plant from uh, from file code to C code. Uh, in that way, in the code, you only have uh, one definition of the variable uh, and all the duplications and uh, renaming uh, are performed during the transformation. And the, the, the objective with this is to, to be transparent for the developer. So the developer, they, they don't have to uh, manage all this information of how uh, Slang works to, to, uh, to code in the VM. And, um, and with this, we are looking uh, to perform a systematic uh, issue to answer the, the vicious question. Uh, so the algorithm is uh, quite simple. Uh, um, the point is, uh, at first we have to replace uh, at the beginning of the of the interpreter loop. Uh, we have to replace all the global value for local value inside the the, the interpreter loop, and uh, then we need to uh, generalize uh, nested expressions uh, to to be able to know the points. Um, where where the execution go out from the, the function we uh, I'm talking about that that uh, and then wrap these exit points uh, with code to synchronize the local variables to to the global variables before and after the code. Now I'm I'm looking uh, I'm showing uh, a little example about that. Uh, what we are looking here, I don't know if I have the cursor. Okay, no. Uh, okay. Uh, what we are looking on the right uh, is uh, how we want to to uh, to write the code by the developers. Uh, that we are looking only one global variable, and we use that global variable in, in, inside the the interpreter loop, and then we have to and after the transformation, what we can see is that at the beginning of the interpreter function, uh, copy the value from the register, the lower register to local register, you understand? Uh, Renames uh, all the, the, the use of, of this lower register for the local one inside. This is performing after the lining, so uh, it's inside of, of this function. And uh, before to return, we need to globalize, so to copy the values from from uh, from local to global. So here, always work with the local version, and here we move the, the, to the global one to be used for another process. Um, uh, to the point where the uh, execution go out uh, from this loop, for example, for large collector. What we need to do is to synchronize both the local and the global value. And 
what we need to block a light so to move from local to to lower uh, before and to lock a line to move from lower to local after that because maybe maybe here the platform some modification can be too much but um and in in this uh at this moment we perform the a little optimization about how to generate this code that we are calculating the um, which register are used in this exit point function. Uh, for example, like here, it's using only this register uh, one, so we are only synchronizing this, this register that I use. We don't synchronize all the registers. Uh, that's in the point where, where we can uh, calculate it. If we don't, we shall. Uh, do for all the Russian. Okay, so with this automatic uh, optimization, we can start to answer some of the or looking for answer some of the vicious questions. Uh, so we perform uh, uh, a couple of benchmarks. What we are looking here is uh, version uh, run on Twitter uh, 64 and uh, each of these ones are different benchmarks, uh, different algorithms. Uh, in the paper, we, we have more. And each color is a different configuration about which register we are uh, optimizing. Uh, intru uh, friend, uh, friend one, intrusion one, and stack one. And uh, the combination of that, and the last one is the color three. Uh, what we can see uh, is that this is uh, in an order, uh, yeah. and what we can see here at uh, one is the so this is the performance, and at uh, one we have the performance without optimization. So everything is relative to this, uh, that is without any of this optimization, and uh, we can compare uh, the performance about that. And what we can see is that uh, this yeah. this uh, last group, the three group, uh, are the better optimization. So here, uh, the one is better. Uh, that uh, that means that this group and this group, and in all or the most of uh, benchmark, we see this uh, yeah. the yes, this tendency. Uh, to to be to, to have a better uh, performance with this combination of what is good because we we were performing this and uh, we didn't know that it, it what was the best we are really have uh, some question some question about uh, okay if uh, this, this is the optimal or so we need a different setup or uh, different applications or um or what there, there are open questions and uh, and another thing the orientation is that there are some configurations that not not made by that performance so it's worse uh, for example of optimizing only the, the frame pointer we lose performance comparing with without the optimization. Uh, that uh, we don't know why that happened. Um, and then we repeat the same benchmark, but uh, for uh, R R in uh, in the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and here, what we see is that uh, we didn't uh, increase the performance so much comparing with, with with another case and we saw that <laughs> the configuration that was worse in another case now it's better there are some configurations uh, in this first group that in, in this architecture uh, perform a better performance that is another question uh, too about why that this happened uh, and what we can uh, measure is uh, okay, what is the relationship uh, uh, between 
the manual optimization, so uh, the version that was before this paper, and now our automatic uh, optimization. So if we lose performance or not, or we are, uh, what we can determine that it, uh, it's not the same. We didn't see a uh, big difference between two optimizations, so making it manual is not the same to make it automatically, but uh, doing it automatically, we, we have a better experience as developers, so we think that that is good. So for uh, some kind of conclusions, um, with this optimization, uh, we have an improvement of almost uh, uh, two times, that is good. And um, not not all uh, not all configuration or not all, not all optimization about the register have the same performance. So there are something to investigate here. Uh, and we we could do it automatically without the uh, performance. That, that is uh, very good. Uh, very nice. Uh, and okay for the future work. Uh, Okay, we we want to study this the uh, this conclusion that we look in, in our benchmarks to understand better what is happening. Um, and uh, another of my question is okay, there are because this resistance uh, is what we we saw what our intuition say okay these three uh, resistors are important for the um, for the interpreter, but maybe there are another, so there are another population that made a better, a better performance. So uh, we are interested to, to see if there is another way. Now, with automatically optimization, we can uh, do it systematically. That is the important thing. Thank you very much. Right, thank you.